In today's video, we explain somatotype, a method of classifying human physique. Optimal workout for an individual depends on their body type. Today we explain which workout is best suited for your body type. Welcome to Kaya. We believe when it comes to fitness, there is a lot of information out there. Unfortunately, most of it is quite unorganized. It is the aim of this channel to organize it and present it in the form of a series of video lessons. Subscribe to our channel to get a video lesson every Sunday. Human physique has been categorized into three somatotypes, ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. An ectomorph body type is characterized as an individual who is naturally skinny with little muscle development. This individual finds it hard to gain weight. A mesomorph body type is characterized as an individual who is naturally muscular with an athletic body. This individual can easily gain and lose weight. An endomorph body type is characterized as an individual who has a tendency of retaining fat and has a round body. This individual finds it hard to lose weight. We must keep in mind that something as diverse as human body cannot be limited to just three somatotypes. The description provided above is just for extreme cases. Most of us have characteristics of all three somatotypes. A better way of visualizing body types is to draw a triangle with its three ends being the extremes of these somatotypes and all others lying somewhere within it. In lessons 16 and 17, we mentioned that all of us respond differently to a particular workout. One of the easiest ways of guessing which workout might be the best for us is to understand which workout is most suited for our somatotype. For an ectomorph, it is really hard to put on weight, which means they do not have to worry about fat gain. On the other hand, their muscles have a tendency of remaining small and weak. Considering this, the best approach for them is to choose a workout routine with higher loads and low repetitions, 5 to 8 per set. The rest period between sets should be kept long, 2 to 3 minutes. The high load provides their body high stimulus for muscle growth, while the fat loss aspect is discounted by keeping the reps low and rest long. It is extremely important for an ectomorph to feed their body adequately to gain muscle. Cardiovascular exercises should be limited to 2 to 3 short sessions of 20 minutes, with preference given to HIT rather than steady state cardio. A mesomorph has won the genetic lottery for building an athletic physique. It is relatively easy for them to gain muscle and lose fat. This, however, does not mean that they can take it easy. Building a good physique needs hard work and discipline and even a mesomorph cannot get results without it. A mesomorph needs a good balance of muscle gain and fat loss to optimize results. Hence, a mesomorph should try out all kinds of workouts with low reps and heavy weights, or high reps and light weights. Similarly, for cardiovascular training, a combination of HIT and steady-state cardio may be included. Three sessions of cardio in a week, with two sessions of HIT and one session of steady-state cardio should do. A healthy and balanced diet is important for a mesomorph to maintain their athletic build. An endomorph has a tendency of retaining body fat. Underneath that fat, though, many endomorphs usually have big and strong muscles. For endomorphs, hence, the most important thing is to lose fat while maintaining muscle mass. An endomorph, therefore, needs a workout optimized for fat loss, which, as you might know from our previous videos, is the one with high repetitions and little rest between the sets. The cardiovascular training for an endomorph is absolutely critical. An endomorph should perform 3-4 to four cardio sessions every week and should include both HIIT and steady-state cardio. HIIT might be too hard on the joints of an endomorph, hence we recommend starting out slow with 3 days of steady-state cardio and 1 day of HIIT. However, as they make progress, they may move towards 2-3 to three HIIT sessions per week and 1-2 to two sessions of steady-state cardio per week. Watching diet is critical for an endomorph. An endomorph must make sure to be in calorie deficit and consume a balanced diet. We conclude this video with a word of caution. Although somatotype is a good starting point, we should never restrict our workouts to only those suited for our body type. For instance, even an ectomorph will gain fat during bulking and will need to perform a workout suited for an endomorph afterwards. Best approach, as always, is to constantly keep changing our workouts based on our progress. This concludes our video for next week, we will go over how to customize a workout based on our training experience, that is, for how long we have been working out. Thank you for watching this video. 
Click the like button if you enjoyed watching our video. Leave a comment below if you agree or disagree with us. We would love to hear your opinion either way. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have more exciting stuff coming up for you. Have a great week ahead and we will see you in the next video.